previously on Agaracore. I am the leech, Hayes. I want the great books, all the great mages of the time of chaos and the time of heroes. Yes, sir. Let's get our books and go. Thank you for coming to my rescue. I'm happy to accompany you wherever you're going, if you'll have me. As you approach the cave, a man comes oh. out and says, Can you offer me payment, please? So that we do not strip your caravan of all its parts. Thank you. Please don't hurt us. <laughs> I, I, I get down on my knees and go, well, Please, what, just tell us what you want from us. I cast darkness to myself. And I shall smite him. He takes your damage and dies. Yeah. Nine damage. To me? Oh, okay. Good thing I have a periaptic wound closure on me. Between you, that's good. And the battle is done. Agaricor Podcast. An original roleplay using Dungeons and Dragons 5th edition. Player characters and Dungeon Master interact online using Roll20 and Skype. Dungeon Master and Podcast Editor John Paget. Player characters played by Dan, Ben, Finn, Terry, Rob, and Paul. So am I conscious again after some sort of healing, I guess, that Elias would have applied? Or? Yeah, I think you can roll a d4. Lower the better. Yeah, yeah, you're awake. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> That's recovery time. And so, yeah, um, after a moment, you go from stabilized to conscious again. Okay. And yeah, so, it's, uh, it's now dusk. Well, we, we should probably um, search the bodies, maybe set a watch. Have somebody look around, make sure there aren't any more of these brigands lying in wait for us or anything. We haven't checked out the cave. Searching the bodies, yes. Can I just uh, jump in and, and go check out the guy that I uh, put a couple of bolts in? Yeah, you can. Um, you can. Actually, I'd like you to do a survival check on him. All right. There's some grooves in the sand and his hand is part buried in the sand. You fish out his hand and um, not far away from where he ended up, you find a ring with a quite ornate V on it. Um, can I uh, see if he's still any life in him? <laughs> sure, yeah. Um, it doesn't take much for you to believe he's dead, but yeah, give me a medical check. You think he's dead, as far as you yeah, know he's okay. dead. All right, I'll, I'll grab that ring. It's fallen off his finger, I, I assume. Is that right? Or... Based on the evidence you see, you think he pulled it off his finger in the final moments. Okay, it's a V-ring. I'll put it on my fingers if it fits. It fits. And so, yes, you have this ring on now. You feel a little tingle on your finger. A pleasant tingle? Um, yes, like almost a ghost of pins and needles. It's not a bad okay. feeling. Good. V for vasectomy. Oh, <laughs> that's the one thing I didn't tell you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Anything else on this fellow? Sure. So you have a look um, on him. He does appear to have some sort of loosely. It would be called a map. It's scrawled out. There aren't many markings on it. Basically, crosses and a few names written on it. A number of words. Yeah, it appears to be an area within the desert. You think there's one or two symbols that look like water. Excellent. And you do have a few arrows going to Rocky Outcrop, which you deduce may be this one. Great. I'll, uh, I'll keep it to study it further, but is there anything mm. else? A little purse? Uh... Not much otherwise. R roll a d20. Okay, well, otherwise you, you have two blades. You have two knives, which have been recently used. Yes, and uh, do they look <laughs> any better than what I might have? My rapier, my longsword? No, um... You don't see anything particularly special about them. They're a matching set. Uh, I'll take them anyways. Mm -hmm. But that's it. That's all. Okay. Oh, I'll, now I'll grab my bolts back. <laughs> yeah, you can find those. You were all a good right. shot, so you, you know where they are. Yes, I think they went through him, actually. That makes it easier. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So uh, I think there was a 
somebody casting spells near me that I was trying to kill. Yeah, he was the one who confronted you in the first place. Seemed right. to be quite a strong leader type. Give me a d20. With that roll, are you looking for anything in particular? Bracers, boots, basically, yeah, the whole bit. I'd search him pretty thoroughly. Okay. In his boots, you find a small bag of gems. Other than that, he has a blade, which is a dagger, and he appears to have a scroll. And it's a level three scroll. And I probably don't know level three of what, looking at it, so I'll uh, I'll hang on to it to give it to uh, either Pat or Oryx or Lias. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's essentially what you find. Yeah, you find two GP as well. Um, I'll search the tiefling guy and the troll guy. And... The, the half orc, I think, or orcish type. As an orc, he's an orc. Yeah. Okay. So I'll share from the things because it, it looks like Hector killed the orc guy. I think he killed maybe three or four in the end. Mm-hmm. He seems particularly smug today, even more <laughs> so for Hector. Sure. So for the tiefling, yeah, give me a roll. He appears simple in every respect. He has a hairband to tie back his hair, some sort of skull necklace, very small skulls. I mean, human, but the teeth look more orcish, but they're extremely small, as if they were shrunken. He has five of those around his neck. Other than that, it's very simple pelt. He has some sort of basic armor, which is like a hide armor, and a weapon. Quite simple attire. Well, I mean, I do need a headband, and skulls are interesting. <laughs> yeah, yeah, um, yeah. You can take them off. Uh, the actual material is quite basic, but yeah, the skulls are quite uh, curious items. I would like to search the guy next to where I am currently. Give me a roll. Ten. Okay, this guy. Strip him right down. Strip him right down. You find a tattoo. <laughs> <laughs> some sort of uh, minotaur tattoo otherwise on his wrist he has a v a tattooed v or a carved tattoo some very basic wristband multicolored as if yeah you know, as if it was put through a few different dyes i'll um, take the wristband yeah 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 and 2gp there but yeah he has a crossbow and he had short sword okay i'll leave all that behind sure roughly york finn Eight, again. <laughs> yeah, Orc has a rapier. He has quite a heavy belt. He has a cloak, dark grey. Boots, quite smelly, but look well insulated. Nothing remarkable otherwise. Any others in particular, or just a general search? Is there anybody else to search? Yeah, there's still a couple of people. A couple of people. So, there's some camels. There's some camels to search, yeah. Could I search one of the pirate hey, take guys? Take your turn. <laughs> Nomo, do you want to do anything? Yeah, I'll search actually this camel that's next to me. All oh, right. Okay. Give me a search. <laughs> no, not, he's not in a great state. You remember the last time you tried to search a camel and that didn't go so well, so... Right. Okay. I'll go to the guy that's over here. Wait your turn. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to make that count as my turn? Yeah. <laughs> and you made the orc count as my turn. Hey, whoever, whoever rolls the d20 first can have that guy. There, I got it. <laughs> you did. In fact, you found nothing. Oh, we did. Oh, in a hurry. <laughs> well, I got the highest roll. Yeah. You know, you're going from one, one end of the field to the other. <laughs> you, you may be a rock star, but um, don't push your luck here. <laughs> yeah, there's not a lot okay, on I'm this. Gonna, I'm going to check out this brigand here. Yeah, there's not a lot on this guy. A few basic papers. Seems to be some sort of inventory. Which you can... Oh, I'm going to grab that. Yeah, and grab the inventory. What kind of words am I reading there? You're reading common. And in inventory of? There's some comings and goings. You, you can see um, an arrow going to Vijo on the right, and then you can see GP with an arrow going to the left, so the opposite direction. And there's a number of payments, and there's quantities of water and there appears to be treasure going the other way and vijo is spelled how v-i-j-o and are there large sums uh the highest you can find is 360 gp 
Okay, very good. But yeah, a number of artifacts going the other way. And that's pretty much everything apart from the weapons and the clothes. Shall we check inside the cave? Well, there's still one guy left to live. Is there? It's my turn. <laughs> that one, I think, Back. right? Back. Yeah. Oh, okay. okay, yeah. Do a roll for him. 13. Okay. It's not terrible. It's not terrible. Uh, <laughs> describe your investigation technique. What are you looking for? <laughs> looking for? Where are you where are you probing there? Um, I would check from the toes to his hat. Okay. Like, I'll just check all of him. Okay, okay. Not exactly a pleasant experience. You get the impression that he soiled himself during the battle at some point. Oh, that happens. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It wasn't it a good happened. day for him. No, I've had that. <laughs> <laughs> You find underneath the hat that there is some sort of scroll, but it's written in a way you can't comprehend. Uh, the writing moves. Oh. Like a movie? Yeah, like a movie of lines. Whenever you stare at the writing, it'll rearrange itself. That's cool. Hmm. You taking it? Yeah. But yeah, that appears to be the only remarkable thing on him. Otherwise, he has the weapons, he has the clothes, some sort of ring. You think maybe a bronze ring? Has that sort of amber color. Do you have any uh, detect magic spells left, Ben? Mm, probably. I'll check. <laughs> <laughs> maybe after we check the cave, just before we rest, we could put all of the magic stuff in sort of a circle. And you can turn yourself around in the middle of that circle and see if any of it's magic. Yeah, I've got a see ring. All the magic stuff in a circle. We did. Yeah. yeah like, like, then... a, like a clock, and then you stand in the middle of the clock and turn yourself to pivot around, and that way you'll know when you're facing the direction of something that's... <laughs> I'll take the ring. Okay. It's probably worth something. And then we'd want to check the cave. Okay, you go into the cave to see if there's anything which they've left. I'll have my boat, actually my spear ready. Okay. And as you enter the cave, there are two bags actually there. They appear to have something inside. I'll check one of them. Mm-hmm. Remember, it's group loot. I'll check I'll the check other one. Up. <laughs> okay. No, you you go ahead, Pat. I yeah, insist. you're pretty low. <laughs> then yeah, uh, D100. Whoa. Anything's possible here. <laughs> Three. <laughs> wow. Is that good or bad? Well. <laughs> it's all good, I'm sure. Okay. <laughs> Give me 3d6. In fact, what you find in there, it appears to be, you get the impression that it's how they cook. I'm not sure who the chef was, but there's a lot, number of pans. There's a slight barbecue smell from this. You do, however, at the bottom of this, find 14 GP, which you know, may have been collected together for the chef, maybe as a wage. Is it all? Yeah, yeah. That filled the sack. Okay. <laughs> And the other one. Yeah, give me a roll. A D100? D100, yeah. Wow. Eight. You two are pathetic. (laughs) Well, Lowe's good sometimes. And you'd roll a one. (laughs) This is just for fun. (laughs) (laughs) There, see? Got as much as both of you combined. Wow. That's incredible. Look at that. Okay, but this is um, the non-fun one. Uh, (laughs) 2d4. Okay. In a little uh, wooden box, you find 4gp marked reserves. Otherwise, it's a number of paintings, quite crude paintings, but these are some of them are of, of appears to be desert scenes. They're in the color of the desert, and, and they've painted these pictures. There's one of a camel, which is very rough, done on wood. Uh, but there are some done on basic skin, paper, which there's a certain aspect or perspective about it, which could be desirable to some people. It's a wooden box or a, a wood and hide box? or What, with the GP or just generally? Yeah, the GP. The GP, were oh, the GP a little... was in a very small wooden box. A small wooden box, okay. Yeah. And is there a um, false bottom or anything like that? Uh... It's very small. Very small, okay. Yeah. I mean, you can, you can knock, around, knock it around if yeah, you like. Yeah. But it is decorated. It's marked reserves, so it's it's okay. scribbled on, carved into. But yeah, otherwise you have these five pictures. So there's four GP and five pictures within yes. the box. Okay, got it. In, yeah, in the, in the in the sack. Yeah. Okay, well I'll keep it all. That's for sure. 
But yeah, that appears to be all they've left. So uh, before we go to sleep, why don't we uh, have Oryx cast to detect magic spell? I'll do it. So I have a V-ring I'd like to know more about if there's magic on it. Sounds like there must be since I tingle when I wear it. Mm. <laughs> yeah, you're not sure that detect no. magic will let you know what it does. It, it'll just tell no. you if it's magic. Oh, sure. I think I should just do arcana checks on each of them. Because those won't use one of my spells and we'll actually know what it does instead of just knowing if they're magic or not. Oryx, you get the impression that you can attune yourself to these objects a little bit, you can spend a little bit of time with them, and you can do your arcana checks. It's nightfall now, but yeah, you can certainly spend time doing it. Don't forget also that you've been reading this book. So it's, oh, yeah. it's, it's up to you what you want to do with your time. I think I'm going to do the arcana checks. Okay. I don't really think that we got that much magic stuff, so it won't take too long, will it? Ah, depends on your role, actually. <laughs> Possibly okay. not. Well, what do, what do you have? What items do you have? Um, I've got a V-ring. I'll give you a okay. gold piece to check out my V-ring. <laughs> sure. I would do it for free, but... <laughs> hey, free money. You need to save up for that Rickenbacker, so there's a gold piece going your way. Okay. <laughs> and also, what I have is... I just got cooking equipment. So it's pretty much just a V-ring that I'm checking. Well, no. Like, oh yeah, the scroll. There's a cloak, there's a bronze ring that you found. Okay, I'll use it on the bronze ring, the cloak. Mm -hmm. The a, cooking equipment. The blade that the leader had. Uh, boots. Oh, I don't want those smelly boots. But just see if there's any magic about them, or the rapier. Sometimes magic smells. Yeah. Okay, starting <laughs> off with the bronze ring. Okay, bronze ring. You can say without doubt that this is not magical. Come on. <laughs> um, now going for the cloak. Man, these are good rolls. Almost like those food packages we say may contain traces of. This was made in the same area as something magical, but this cloak is not magical. <laughs> um, now the sword that the leader had. Do you think you could delve into this a little bit longer? Uh, there's something about it which is very, very subtle. Do you want to spend time on this? How much time? It will probably take an hour to investigate this one. Sure. While he's doing this, I'm going to be resting and spending hit die, meditating, trying to heal myself up. Uh, yeah, I sure. would also like to um, do a bit of healing stuff. Yeah, sure. Yeah, you can roll um, as many hit die as you have levels. Uh, I also have this, um, if you don't mind helping me with this, because uh, uh, I have a song of rest. Okay. Yeah, so you can do it on yourself, and at the same time you give um, everyone else a, a d6. That's a nice uh, bonus, in fact. Okay, so here's 2d8. So a total of 7. Yeah, and well, because you're and, singing. Um, and then I add a d6. Yeah, and anyone else resting can do the same, so um, Nomo, you can definitely do that. Okay, so I'll do 2d8. Now, this gets doubled because of the periaptive wound closure. Is that what the periapt does? Does it double yeah. healing? On the hit dice, yeah. So I'd get 14 for that, and then Song of Rest, so 17 back. Okay. Finn, you're pretty hurt, too. No. <laughs> oh, that's me, sorry. Yeah, I think Finn avoided all combat, did a nice job, actually. So well done, uh, well managed Terry on that. <laughs> yeah. Kept him out. I, I knew I'd pay for it if he uh, <laughs> dying or so. Wait, if I die, just take all my loot. Mm. Okay, badly. I've arcana the sword of the leader. Yes, you did, and you spent a good deal of time on this. Probably needs a bit of light, so someone wants to deal with that. There'd be a few people that can cast a light Hector. Can cantrip. Or... Let's say that you you find a reason that Hector will help you, just to save time. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll give him the gold piece. There we go. I have skill of persuasion, too. I'm very persuasive, if we ever need. You might do with Hector, yes. No, that's good to know. You study this sword in more detail. Yeah, it's quite a complicated little weave of a spell. What it appears to do is, you think, if the blade hits three times in an encounter, so within the space of ten minutes, it grants the holder a diehard feat, which is an orc feat, which means that if you go to zero, you are still on one hit point. Sadly for the uh, wearer, you don't think he managed to get three hits before dying. <laughs> uh, does it do a lot of damage? It does normal damage as far as you can tell. What kind of sword is it? 
I believe we said a short sword. Okay. I think Lice would enjoy that. We can see. We'll hang on to it until we have uh, more talkative other party members. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Now, could I do the arcana for the V ring? Yeah, of course. 18. 18. Yes, this is certainly magical. I knew it. <laughs> it seems to confund. There is a confusion spell intertwined within this ring. Ah. There's an element of truth which is mixed with a binding spell. It seems to hold on to an, an aspect of reality. So, what does that mean? <laughs> as far as you understand it, if a lie, and you think this is a specific lie, is being told this ring will be impervious to it. It will f- see through that lie. But it's for a specific lie. So there's some sort of cloak of concealment going on that this ring is not affected by. Oh. If that makes sense. Could be useful for you, Pat. Yes, absolutely. If Orcs will let me have it back. <laughs> well, you gave me a GP, so sure, fine. <laughs> <laughs> now, do I do one roll for the cooking equipment? No, never mind. The cooking equipment sure. is probably just... Really? You, you can, can do a roll for the cooking equipment? <laughs> of course you can. I don't think I should. You should get some sleep and get your spells back. I think I'm I'm going to just spend the rest of the time that I have reading the book. It, what do we know from that book so far? Is there anything interesting? Mm. I don't know. Yeah, from Secrets of Hair's book. Yeah, you've learned a little bit more about his home... You know, where he comes from and there are some names about those who he admired those whose spells he tried to improve upon and also a few of the enemies he did not get along with in fact um, one or two proofs of who he annihilated there's quite a lot of um, flicking through this book because there are shorthand for spells it makes some sort of sense to you Oryx but it's just it's, it's either boring or it's just it's too scribbled but yeah, you're picking up bits as you go, but you think you need to get through some elements of the book to understand the earlier chapters. Can I do a reading check? You can do an intelligence check. <laughs> yeah, you're making good progress, but you think you need to learn more to really get the benefits of this book. I think you've probably read maybe six or seven hours so far, but you need to read the full 15 in your case. Okay. Uh, while he's doing that, I'll, I'm going to ask if anyone might know what V stands for uh we have it on a ring we have it tattooed on one of those bandits if not more anyone know what v might stand for i don't think i do who's the lich guy you guys are after you have to meet up with hayes okay. mm-hmm. and that's the book you have okay got it so do we get a night's sleep in i don't mean to perseverate but i i need my sleep <laughs> i don't think i gotta get sleep at all yeah uh yep if you all choose to sleep you can get that long rest. Oh, no, let, no, let's set up a watch. Yeah. Sure thing. We'll assume that the other two will take a watch. If you're doing that, are you sleeping in the cave, in the open? I vote for cave. Yeah, I vote for cave. Okay. Um, whoever's doing the first watch, give me a perception check, and off we go. I'll take the first one. Mm. Okay, the desert is dark. There's not a lot going on. There's a few sounds. <sighs> you soon get tired, Pat. What you do notice on the inside is um, each of your companions at one point wriggles as if trying to shake off something. This happens at the same time, except for Lice, who doesn't. Everyone's wriggling but Lice. And do they look at risk? No, it's more as if there's an itch they can't get. Everyone but Lice. Okay. Yeah. I will note it. Well, that's that one done. And you, uh, you can go to bed. Okay. Wouldn't Lice be the one itching? <laughs> Lice by name. I'm going to um, whoever is relieving me. I'm going to let them know about that observation. Okay. Who would it be? Would that be Oryx or Nomo? Who, who's next? I'll go. I kind of only half sleep anyway as an elf. I sort of go into meditation. Okay. Pat tells you this information. Okay. I'll see if I remember anything from <laughs> me being itchy or anything while I was meditating. Sure, sure. I'll do a wisdom check. Ah, you are wise. Wow. Mm, Yeah, you believe that that's the work of the red crystals. Oh. Both Icky and Lice 
seemed to recover much better than everyone else from the effects of the crystals. I'll uh, say that's just the crystals we drank. and Maybe this means we're supposed to be uh, making our way back to Hayes as quick as we can. Can I check with the group for a reckoning of how long we've been away from Hayes? Yeah, between you, you think it's been uh, one and a half weeks. And there's two weeks, I think, to go uh, in total. Is that right? You think if you, if you get it to him within two weeks, then he rewards you. Um, if it's beyond three weeks, he foretold your death. Let's get that reward. <laughs> uh, do we have a reckoning of how far we are away from Hayes's place still? You're probably two thirds of the way across the Dar, in between Al Atla and the swamp, which is the big round thing where some of you met the Bollywogs. So, are we trying to get to the right of Midness, like the upper right? Yeah, it's above Midness. It's pretty much if you went two squares or one and a half squares up from Midness, that's where Hayes's lair is, which is approximately okay. one hundred miles. We're gonna have to book it if we're gonna make it in time. Because we have to get rewarded. Well, we have to not die. Well, no, but, <laughs> no, but I mean, we'll be disappointed in us if we don't get it on one time. Oh, you and your Hayes worship. <laughs> He'll reward us. Yeah, you never know what a reward is to people or liches like Hayes. Well, maybe they wouldn't make the dying come after the reward. Maybe they would <laughs> make the dying before the reward. <laughs> Well, let's. We've all agreed to go find out anyway. So okay, cool. let's go. Let's just run, sprint. Yeah. No, uh, no sleeping. <laughs> we'll try to make as good time as we can. With our cart and horses. And, mm-hmm. I think uh, we lost the horse for the cart, didn't we? You oh, lost yes, a horse, did. yeah. Not the filly. Not the no, filly. No. My, my horse. Mm. Yeah. Can we uh, get one of the other horses into the traces for the cart? You think the filly may be strong enough now to hold one of you. And it's possible that Loki or one of the other horses could take the cart. Okay. Who's the smallest amongst us? Me. No, you're a human. You? Yeah, I'm, I'm 110 uh, Icky. or so, I think. Icky's Icky. flown. She has hollow bones. Icky's ah. gone. Oh, yeah, she flew away. Yeah. Yes, yes. Problems at the mountains. <laughs> I'm 110. Uh, yeah, I think I'm even a little lighter than, than that. Okay, one of us will go on, yeah, the filly. Mm-hmm. We all have to travel together, right? Or we should, ideally? Well, you never want to split up a party. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Hector does um, does make murmurings and go, why are you, why are you awake? I'm sleeping. <laughs> I'll, I'll give him a kick. kick. <laughs> it's middle of the night. Leave me alone. I will try a persuasion roll. <laughs> okay. Oh, not very persuasive. <laughs> no, that's not going to uh, going to wash with Hector. I'll tell him we have wine. Oh, clever boy. Let me see it. <laughs> you don't need to roll for that. No, it's, it, you, you can't see it from here. You have to get up to see it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, all right. Very well. Where? Oh, it's at... The Leech Hayes's place. Oh, that's miles away. Well, the sooner we get there, there'll be more wine left. It's all very well for heroes like me, but uh, some of you are more injured than I am. Not that I much care about that. I think we're as good as we're going to get. For <laughs> You've slept for two now. hours. Okay. And I did sing everyone a, a few extra hit points, hopefully. Okay, so you're going to well, write... We've only, well, we've only slept two hours because I was just the second watch. That's right, yeah. Yeah, oh, well... No, you're right. Sorry, Hector. We should go back to sleep until we get rest. Oh. Yeah, we have to. We need rest. <laughs> I'm <rolling> again. No. <laughs> okay, Hector, you can go back to sleep. Dream about wine. Spellcasters need their spells, and I need my key points. And so we'll just continue through the night with our taking uh, watch turns. Okay. Don't do it again, says Hector. Rolls over. <laughs> okay. If that's what you're going to do, uh, perception check for you, no more. Mm. Whoa. Whoa, indeed. Now, the night seems to be very quiet. You do see some sort of small crab-like creature appear from underneath the sand and start eating the carcass of one of the camels. Mm. I'll let it continue to do so, but 
Okay. Keep an eye. Yeah, yeah, no, no problems. Whilst you're keeping an eye, you look around. You can see Hector's clutching hold of his amulet. You can see uh, uh, it appears that Lice is shivering a little bit. Otherwise, all seems well. I'll put a blanket on Lice. <laughs> <laughs> and so your hour finishes. Okay. Then I'll uh, pass over to Oryx. No problem. We should have enough, actually, that Oryx should be able to get some sleep. Or do you want to you want to watch Oryx? Sure. Okay. Perception check, Oryx. Not much watching. <laughs> Not much watching. No, no. You, in fact, you um, you sneakily read a few more pages of the book whilst you're. Do I get anywhere? Ah, uh, you shave. Yeah, you shave another half an hour off the time. Nice. Yeah. Good job of not watching. (laughs) (laughs) I'm not dead, so that's all that matters. (laughs) Yeah. Okay, so the watch goes to Hector, and God help you all as to what he doesn't do. But um, but yeah, the night goes by. You all do have dreams. I'm going to actually send you the dreams. So this will be secret to you. Can't we just share the dreams in the morning? You can do. That's entirely up to you. If we live that long. (laughs) Hector washings. That's right. Where will we see the dreams? It'll be in chat. So those are dreams you have. Any questions, let me know. Otherwise, let me know if you're ready to move on. Are we waking up? Is it beginning of the day? Yep, Hector seems very perky this morning. The dawn is is upon you. I would like to look into my pocket. Okay, roll one d hundred. Thirty nine. That's better. There you go. There you go. Okay. Uh, I'd like to ask our party members if anyone else found something suspicious going on overnight, or if they had dreams. Oryx. <laughs> Anything weird happened to you last night? No more. Sorry, we are on mute. <laughs> <laughs> I was explaining my dream and nobody heard. Oh. Yeah, go, go ahead. Um, I saw V and being lowered into an abyss. And then an elderly boy said, Now jump, boy, find Hemis and give him the staff. Hmm. Who's Hemis? I mean, Hemis. Yeah, my dream. I've. Uh had a peaceful sleep and i remember the time when i played and watched the new monastery being built and how the monks named me and uh, these were some of my favorite days much better than the days when the fire scorching orc attacks wrecked that monastery killed my parents yeah i I remember nice days i'll ask nomo if he often dreams of monks um i do dream about uh the monk that i lived with during all of my formative years. Okay, I'm now uh, disinterested. Um, <laughs> I want to look in my little box again. Hmm. And those pictures that um, you talked about, could they be used as cards, playing cards? Are they playing card size? Actually, no, they're not. I mean, so you have this small area for coins, and then you have these. These are probably more A4 size. So paper right. page size. Um, and I'll ask my colleagues if they have actually found anything. I, I found a, an empty glass vial smelling of strong perfume in my pocket. Did any of you find anything? Did, did I? I'll check my robes. I'll check my robes. Um, you find nothing new. You think um, this may have happened to you, that this may be something that happened the day before. This dream. Mm. Yeah, it's, it's like a recollection for you. Okay. I will ask for uh, my colleagues to look at my hair, my lovely hair, and uh, <laughs> see if any of it looks like it's recently been cut away. A lock of my hair has it been cut away. Can you take a look? I'll have a look. I'll, I'll look kind of adoringly at him. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I welcome fine. his adoring glance. Give me an investigation check there, as you this sort of grooming image going on. <laughs> I I paw at him with scarred hair. <laughs> Bre- breathe, breathe into his face. There's a lot of hair. You cannot really, really tell, but 
<laughs> no, you have you have, you have a lot of hair there, Pat. Yeah. Okay. So it may or may have someone else been... who might be more perceptive. Maybe Oryx. Can you take a look? Um. I walk away sadly. <laughs> After a while, Oryx, you uh, you find that mode, that sense that uh, gives you such great magical sense, and you find yes, I mean that there is there appears to be an area which is cut quite roughly, an area where hair used to be. Okay, I'll explain to um, my colleagues that I did have a dream that I was in a swamp place uh, the night before, got drunk. Bits of the dream seem unreal, but we were playing a surreal card game involving snakes, live snakes. I lost the first bet, and I had to cut away some of my hair because I didn't have any money. But somehow I won the next round, which is when I put this vial in my pocket. Does any of that sound familiar to any of you? No, that sounds like the life of a rock star. (laughs) (laughs) Okay, I guess we'll have to leave it at that. Mm. I'll say I wish I could have been there. <laughs> John? Yeah? You said that I had a peaceful dream. Your peaceful dreams do not last long. But I saw a being being lured into an abyss. Mm. You had peaceful dreams until that point. Then the dreams became less peaceful. Oh. You may need to check your notes to see who being is. Who's the guy who got sent to the college place? Mara, I think? That's right. Yeah, you've had um, visions of Vian before. Yeah, your old friend from the magical college. You can recollect his expulsion from the college and how he went north. You can remember him going to the Mara Society, but the latest one is him going into an abyss, which may be connected to the other visions. We should go to the Mara Society sometime. Maybe after Aeus, if we're so alive. Uh, is uh, Oryx the smartest member of our group, pretty much? Yes, I am. It's just because all the other members of the group are pretty dumb. <laughs> can you smell my bottle? Okay. And see if uh, <laughs> a medicine. <laughs> well, Either. I don't know. I woke up with this bottle in my pocket, and I don't remember it being there from before, and it's empty. So I just wondered if you might get a, a trace of something on this. Um, what should I use? Arcana, medicine, nature, perception. I think just perception. In fact, roll a constitution. Uh oh. So you open <laughs> you open the bottle. Is that what you're doing? You, you uncork the top of this bottle? No, I just smell it. Okay, you just smell from the outside. Okay, in that case, you can try any of the senses. But yeah, if, if, if you want to sense magic, if you want to just see if you recognize it, that could be a nature check. Tread Arcana. You tread Arcana. Okay, um, it's difficult. Um, smelling is not one of your natural Arcana abilities. There's something oh. otherworldly about it, but you couldn't really pin down what it's a unknown element to it hector might know what it is he's certainly up for a smelling challenge is hector says, yes 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 i i am a wine connoisseur i'm sure i can tell what this is <laughs> knowing him he probably tries perception <laughs> Whoa. Mm, his uh, eyes um go wide for a moment and he goes i think i should have this you don't want this. It's an empty bottle. I'll have this. Uh, I'll be happy to let you have it once you've explained to me what it is. And I'm willing to part with it. Well, yes, it's a, this is a fey bottle. A bottle of, of, of the fey. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, there are varying creatures in the fey wilds. This is a very strong one. Yes. Oh, goodness. Mm, I know okay. what the fey is. It was on the map at the back of one of the handbooks. Fey Wild? Yeah. Uh, what, what properties does it have? What does it do? Uh, um, he thinks for a moment and says, uh, turns you upside down all around and makes you drunk. That's what it does. Mm, yes. Hector, I'll give you a hundred gold pieces for it. It's, uh, it's, it's still bad. mine. It's but uh, I, I will be happy to give it to Hector. Okay. Oh, I'll give you 50 gold pieces for it, Hector. Uh, and all the wine that I find on this trip. I will, we will see. When you produce that wine, I will give this to you. I'll, I'll call you master. 
You should call me master anyway. Oh. <laughs> yes, give me enough wine and uh, maybe we can swap. <laughs> so Hector keeps hold of this empty bottle of perfume. But I will tell Hector what it does when uh, when he's next on. Very good. Hector, have you ever heard of a rat finder? They're amazing things. You can find any rat from anywhere with it. I don't understand why I'd want to find a rat. Well, there's plenty of reasons. I just can't name them because there's so many. He shakes his head condescendingly. Oh, you're going to try and play him, are you? I don't, <laughs> I don't think it's fair, it's fair me even. <laughs> I think this is going to have to be a plus 10 against him for me to fall for this. Uh-oh. So two, 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 two. Shakes yes. his head condescendingly. What? Plus ten beats nineteen. But that was strong. <laughs> okay. So uh, have we made it through the night yet? Oh yeah, I mean you're talking. It's the morning now. Everyone everyone's okay. up. Okay. Let's get going. Yeah, you're marching on? Okay. So yeah, you make good progress. Um as you get to the swamp, you see these the sign posts as you did before. How do you want to proceed? Skirting along, skirting along the edge. Yeah, yeah. Because I seem to recall we had the opportunity to get out of the swamp area, but it was difficult travel. So yeah, that's right. So you can, you can do that if you want. Yep. But stay out of the difficult travel. Try <laughs> try to skirt wherever the I guess where the road goes, but keep a really close watch on the swamp for signs of bullywugs. Sure thing. Okay. Even even send ahead a stealthy scout or two. Yes, yeah, select your scout or two. I'll volunteer, but I think Hector would go with me. How stealthy are you, Pat? I am proficient at stealth. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Yeah, actually, the three of us, Pat, Oryx, and Nomo, actually are relatively stealthy between the three of us, I think. So we'll we'll go together and try and leave the noisy, clanking people behind. Although we've got rogues, too, so it shouldn't be an area. Okay. How about never mind? How about we just all go together? <laughs> <laughs> and you stick to the green band, which it sounds like it'll make traveling easy, but it keeps you out of the swamp. Yes. Um, yeah, and you make good progress. The morning goes by. Nothing happens at that time. And then in the afternoon, you're pretty much across the, the swamp area. I want each of you to roll a perception check. Oh, yes. Oh. Look at that. Oh. No, no, ahead of you, you do see a line of human guards. You're off the road, but you can see the road going around the swamp. There's a crossroads there. There's a number of guards there. They seem to be stationed at that place. Do they look like Midnes guards? or? Yes, I mean, you think mm. these could easily be Midnes guards. So I'll say to the group, stay back, stay quiet. Some Midnes guards up ahead. I don't think we want to mess with them. Is this the way that, that we'd have to go in order to get to Hayes's pyramid? There's always another way around. It's either through the swamp and around them, or it's through the desert and around. Either way, it's difficult to rain. How many of them are there? There's seven of them. Hmm. Pat, you haven't had any problems with the Midness guards. I'll, I'll quickly say, Pat, we've had problems in Midness before. Some unfortunate killing of guards and escaping from jail, that sort of thing. Am I forgetting something? I'll ask the group. Am I forgetting something? Were we forgiven or anything? Pebble looks around and goes, um, no, I don't think so. So we we don't want to mess with them, but maybe if you find out why they're there, Pat, how would you feel about that? I'd feel great. Yeah. Okay. Pat, um, you did perform here quite recently. I'd like if you could give a performance check representing your group here. It was a good performance. It usually is. (laughs) (laughs) It went down well. You were a hit at the the Midness Festival. So, yeah. um, How do you... Approach these uh, guards. So, I'm sorry, they're guarding a, a town, a road, a wall? Uh... They appear to be at the crossroads of a road. Okay. You guys want to hang back or do you want to come with me? I think we should hang back. Okay. That seems somehow dangerous, but reasonable. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you're quite close to the swamp. You're good 500 meters away you know, through Nomo's sight that he caught sight of all this. Um, so you ride up on your love buggy? Yes. Okay. The guards turn. Hail. Heidi, boys. You remember me? Pat Boynor, <laughs> founding member of the Yardbards? 
I gave a great show here last festival. A nod of approvals. There's one scowl and he says, oh, oh, I've never had such a busy shift after that. You got that crowd going uh, like I've never seen before. Oh, such a mess. We had, yeah, we had a rocking good time. That's good for the economy. <laughs> uh, I tell you, my girlfriend was just head over heels over you, Pat. Unbelievable. Well, what if you, you like, I'll cut a lock of my hair for her. <laughs> he goes, would you? Amazing. Uh, sure, but I, I have a favorite ask first, mm. which is um, I, I'm here with my rock and new band, and uh, we just want to wow. get through uh, to the other side of the crossroads. And uh, I don't know if we'll have time to play here, but uh, we're, we're, we're marching on, and um, we'll certainly put this place on our map next time we're around. If you're a really rocking good time. Well, yeah, sure. Of course, yeah, yeah. Bring him through. Yeah, not a problem. Terrific. And yeah, and, uh, just let us know when you're, when you're back. Great. Will do. What's your name? Jans. Jans? Okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to remember you, Jans, and I'll, I'll send you a little lock of my hair. For your, your, for your lovely wife. <laughs> oh, that's right, for my girlfriend. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> okay, I'll, uh, I'll motion to uh, my colleagues to come join me. What do you guys do? Um, I come join him. Wait, uh, I'm just, wait, 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 Forks. Disguise, <gasps> your, disguise yourself, and I, I don't know. I'm I'm not gonna go with them. I, Lias, I don't think is in their bad books, but Hector and Fevel definitely are. So we we can't go. <laughs> well, then you guys stay behind. Would they be able to see if I went off the road? Um, they might notice moving objects on the horizon. Put on a cloak, like, all the way over yourself. If you go far north enough, then you'll be out of their range, but you would be diverting your track. Right. I'll cover myself with my cloak as best as possible and uh, move along. Sure, we'll go through. This is a bad <laughs> idea. Of course it was. I, I don't care, says Hector. And I'm using the disguise self spell. Okay, so it's just for you. What, what do you look like? Um, I'll make myself look like Ringo. Thanks. That brings back a lot of memories. <laughs> <laughs> okay, excellent. Yeah, it's rather disturbing. This um, dead Ringo, he seems to be back with you. Before I get very close, I'm going to uh, stop and blend in as best I can with my wood elf abilities to uh, just let the group go on. And then my plan is to sneak by separately afterwards. Okay, we can play that out. Yeah, I'd be intrigued to see what happens. Okay, Hector and Lysa at the moment are not doing anything. Hector appears to not do anything in particular. Um, Pevel is covering up completely. Hector, cover up. Why should I? <laughs> oh, God. Because your face is too beautiful for these ugly men. Give me a persuasion check on that. I was about to say deception, but that's, that's not fair. You just make this hard for us. <laughs> he always does. Nah. I'm dismounting, by the way, asking Oryx to lead my horse through. Okay. Lice uh, decides to um, cover up a little bit. Okay, and you wander up. After a pause, this group appears. Group of horses. As you do, uh, wh how do you react, Oryx, as you wander past them? I'll say, hey. Brilliant. Give me a performance check. Oh. <laughs> yeah. But I have it. Yeah, it's kind of a, it, it, it's a weak hay, but um, <laughs> but they don't seem to be too worried about you. Hector just um, looks mockingly at them. Now this is what I'm going to roll. Uh -oh. They eye Hector suspiciously. One says to you, Pat, uh, where'd you get him from? Uh, he's the roadie. Uh, would you like me to play you a song? <laughs> nice distraction okay um yeah play a song and uh roll performance on this can i play too if you want to yes i have a loot oh their momentary distrust of hector soon turns into this little little private gig as they're yes. entranced by you two and and uh and and, and they start clapping along i don't know if, if there are any particular lyrics you want to throw in there or if it's a full-on blown instrumental, but. Do, 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 
do let us through. <laughs> please, please, please. Don't kill us. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> There you go. <laughs> <laughs> They're just um, emotional, and th- and they wave you through, and you can hear them going, do do do, let us through, do 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 do. <laughs> I love that guy. I love it, and uh, and and you go through. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I hang my head while I'm hanging back, trying to blend in with the foliage. <laughs> They seem in a good mood, and you pass without a problem. Okay, and you can then travel around back into the desert. And as nightfall happens, you do manage to make the final trek to where you believe he was. What you see ahead of you, you thought you got it right, but what you see ahead of you is just pure desert. You look around, and you you think it's the right area, but you can't see it. Um. Why don't we call him? Just shout out, hey, yes. we have returned with your library books. Okay. The air wobbles as if there was a, an invisible jelly. And then it ripples into water and then suddenly what's in front of you changes. And you, you, you actually see three skeletons moving rubble around and making a much, well, it appears that they're trying to beautify the entrance. Um, three skeletons. Three skeletons. They're not interested in us. They're just moving rubble. They don't appear too concerned at the sight of you. Hi, skeletons. Would you know where Hayes is? Because it's his teeth banging against each other. Do we see the entrance? Yeah, Something. you see the entrance. It's the same hole. Um, it's got more of a grotto feel to it now. You know, they've built around it. <laughs> it's better than it was before. Doing some landscaping. Yeah. Okay, um, well, I guess we go in, and is that a place where it makes sense to wait until we have the others with us? That's exactly the place where it, which makes sense. Um, yes, <laughs> so... Thank you, skeletons. <laughs> and you've made it to Hayes' lair, which is where we oh. end it this time. Great. All right, excellent. Thanks, John. Well done, guys. Thank you. Great. Thank you, bye. Thanks very much. Thank you, guys. Cheers, then. Okay. Yeah.